Leak code style interviews. No one likes them, but here we are. A lot of companies rely on them as the gold standard for identifying quality candidates. I'm here to tell you that they're wrong, and I'll tell you why they're wrong so that you can modify your own interviewing practices to find the candidates that your company actually needs. Hey, I'm Will Button, and this is DevOps for Developers, where I talk about DevOps and code and career. In this video, we're going to talk about leak code interviews. And you know the questions I'm talking about. The ones like, convert a sorted array to a binary search tree. Look, those questions definitely have their place in some career paths. But in my opinion, you probably already know when you're on one of those paths. So how did we get here and what can we do about changing this? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is that if you are a developer or an aspiring to be developer, those are just the table stakes to play the game. You've got really no choice but to suck it up, grind it out, and cash the paycheck. If you're responsible for interviewing candidates though, let's do a little history lesson on how we got here. So the types of questions we're talking about were originally designed to be questions that are almost unsolvable, or at least unsolvable in the time constraints you provide during the interview. And there's a good reason for that. For most of our career in software development, we're going to be facing problems that we've never seen before, and sometimes those problems have no industry-proven solutions. Adding to that, we may be facing these issues in the context of an incident or an outage, so every minute we spend solving an issue is another minute that the company we work for is down, losing money, or even being hacked or exploited. This creates a scenario where you have to be able to put emotion aside and think through potential solutions quickly and accurately. Failure to do both of these is almost guaranteed to make the issue worse, which is generally something that we try to avoid. So that was the original intent of these questions, to put you into a no-win scenario to see how you reacted under pressure. Getting the answer was never the goal. It was the thought process and the actions you take along that path that were important. So let's fast forward to today though, and we find ourselves in a scenario where we publish and advertise that leak code style interviews are the standard. As a result, we now have sites like leakcode.com, not bashing them, just pointing it out, that share the exact questions that you're going to ask and show your candidates exactly how to solve them. So now your interview process is a memorization test. Did the candidate memorize the problems that you asked them to solve? So we've lost the opportunity to see how this candidate solves unknown problems. We didn't get any insight into their thought process, and we have no idea how they're able to separate emotion from logic under pressure. All we're able to say about the candidate is that they have the technical aptitude to recall memorized solutions to known problems. And if your business only faces known previously solved problems, this is perfect. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that's probably not the case. So what can we do to recapture the lost information in the interview process? I'm going to suggest that you turn this from an interview to a conversation because by having a conversation with the candidate, you lower the pressure of the process for both parties, which makes it more likely that you'll actually get to see the personality and the skills of the candidate. You'll also show your personality and skills as well, which is equally important because you need to know how this person is gonna fit in with your team on a daily basis. You can be conversational and technical at the same time. Just imagine a scenario where you're talking with your friends because you probably, presumably, don't use contrived examples to talk to your friends. And here's the thing, you know when your friends are trying to bullshit you. You don't need to test them on their knowledge, you just pick up on the signs and the clues that they leave behind. And you can use these same skills in the interview process and they will probably be much more accurate than testing for random trivia. Hey, I'm starting to get a little hungry. You up for some lunch? Oh yeah, that sounds good. Nice, we can start with this. What is this? It's corn. I need you to plant it, grow it, harvest it, grind it up, and make some tortillas. We're having tacos. Dumbass. There is a time and a place for validating actual hands-on skills. 
So take the time to set up a real-world scenario that the two of you can work through together. You can even work through a task that you're currently working on. A lot of interviewers don't like this approach because you're going to have to explain some architecture and tribal knowledge specific to your company, but in reality, that's okay because that's the job you're actually hiring them for. This actually works out pretty well because it's an environment the candidate hasn't seen before, so you get that opportunity to observe their problem-solving skills, and if the candidate has the right background for your position, you'll see the thought process of how they transition the skills they know to problems that they don't know. One final tip on this, make it about them. Give them a chance to shine, let them drive the keyboard, and make sure that the scenario is set up in a way that they can run the code or the infrastructure and break things if necessary. So that means you probably don't wanna do this in production, but you know, I'm not judging here. I'm just throwing out ideas. Lead code interviews are great for testing a candidate's ability to memorize solutions to problems. If that's the role you're hiring for, then that's your golden ticket. For the rest of us who are hiring for a candidate's ability to solve problems, it's time to leave the trivia contest behind. If you think I'm wrong, hint, I'm not. Let me know in the comments below how Leak Code style interviews help you find the perfect candidates in your company and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos that I publish. <laughs>